something that we've been looking at um, pretty much into the start of the course. All right, now, what we have to think of when we approach any haircut, but especially when we approach something as long as this, is two things, the internal and the external. Another way of describing those two things is the weight and the length. Okay, this is what we're kind of coming into contact with. That it's a little bit long at the back. Dylan was sharing, I'd like to correct that a little bit. He'd like to take the external length up a little bit, so it sits a bit more in line with the back of the neck. At the minute, guys, what's happening, if we pull this down to its longest form, you can see it's beginning to touch the top of the shoulders. What we like to do in this scenario is take it up a little bit, and therefore make it sit a bit more nicer. If you imagine someone with hair as long as this, the minute they wear a coat or a collar, it'll begin to push the hair up. The minute he tilts his hair back, it'll push the hair up. And naturally what's starting to happen is that the hair is starting to bevel outwards because of all that moving around and so on. So it's become a bit too long, a bit too irritable. I want to adjust that today. At the minute, we've picked our choice of length, picked our shape, and then we've layered off that to the back. And then of course we're free to work from the back into the sides and work from the back into the top. In around here, where the hair stops meeting the comb, is roughly where I'm going to come in and just place in my box section here at the back. All right, very important that we understand where that is and why we're putting it in there. So we can see, guys, directly from this point where the comb was off the head, we can see that we put in the back of our box section there. All right, and that's why we've done. What I can do is just come through, bring a rough guide into where I feel it would sit, and then naturally what we do, we come around the front and just visually assess where my box section is. is just choose my desired length in the section. I'm gonna tilt the head forward ever so slightly just to allow me to grasp the section in my fingers. I'm gonna bring the section right on down just to above the neckline there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is then begin to etch this in with my finger razor, like so. Now that I have my choice of length in there, I'm gonna just gently scrape the section with the finger razor just to erode and begin to peel off these little ends here. Okay, not a lot of tension here guys, not a lot of tension at all, all right? Or cause a spring back of the hair. And unfortunately what that'll do, it'll actually cost me taking off more hair than what I'd rather. Okay, now guys, the choice of shape here guys, I want to do something a bit more square. I want to do something a bit more square. Why would I choose a more square line here guys, than more of a round line, can anyone tell me? It overextend the body and the body's gonna come at a very, very awkward angle, all right? Resting on the hip, I'm quite awkward. What needs to happen is that what I must do is come from the back and just off center. Therefore, when I take the section on it, it's going to come to me as opposed to beyond me. Okay, if the section comes beyond me, it's going to be a strain. All right, if the section comes to me, it's going to be a lot more comfortable, okay, a lot more easier to control. So, longest short piece, guys, you can see there's a little bit of difference in the length there. I just have a look in the mirror, check for balance. Once again, come through and just bang the square line right on in there. Just adjusting the weight a little bit to tailor it to this new length that I basically put in at the bottom, all right? Notice how, guys, I'm working up the section this first time. Every section after this one, guys, will come from top to bottom as opposed to bottom to top. You walked off the length of the finger razor. Right? Exactly, bro. As, as a guide, as a reference. I, I could work from top to bottom and guess it, but you're more sure this way yeah. to achieve a bit of balance. Hello. Check for balance, of course. Great. Nice. Here we go. Boom. Here we go. Whoa ho. Same length. No touchy. All right. No touchy. Short piece away, minimal in the difference, guys, but a difference nonetheless. We point cut, we point cut, we want to point cut. Anyone tell me or anyone have a guess why we're going to point cut this? 
make it a bit more flowy. Make it a bit more flowy. Why would I want to make it a bit more flowy, bro? So it sits nicer. Sits nicer. Great, yeah, absolutely. That's what's going to come of it. But in this scenario, look at that hair, guys. Does look like a lot of hair? No. no. Quite fine, isn't it, on the top? You see that? And what did we find here and here? Lack of density. So if I layer this, what does layering do? Yeah, go for it. Sit nice and loud, yeah? Removes the weight, yeah? So if I layered all this normally, cut the line straight, that's going to remove weight from an area that doesn't have a lot of weight already. Okay, and that's going to drastically change the game. And what did we discover here? A little bump. So imagine, guys, if I took a bit of length off this, pick it up, cut it straight, sits back down, it's going to jump up then. It hasn't got that weight to hold it down. So therefore, we change up, we change up the technique a little bit. As opposed to cut it straight, I'm going to point cut it. Very simple. technical disconnection, something that has been disconnected for an apparent reason, but when we brush the hair all back, it has what's called a visual balance. A visual balance, isn't it? Okay, it's disconnected, but it still looks connected. The reason that is, guys, because of the lack of hair density in that area. So, one, two, three, four, five, and it's done. That's going to be our number two. We're going to get a little pop of skin in this little area now. Tapers, guys, that people are just afraid to go too high, too high with it. But we need to go somewhat high, even with a taper, especially if we want a nice little kind of pop of skin in there. All right. Like so. Clean off that little bit of space there. Keeping the head tilted there, I'm going to bring the one right underneath that then also. And again, we're just blending each guard into the last. Nice and diagonal with the skin line. Keeping everything as natural as we possibly can. Flicking that right on in. Bringing my one open. Right in that little area there. And just bring that right on the knee where the number one was, you see. And really just dispersing and scrunch this product in guys from the roots to ends, okay? As all over the hair as much as I possibly can. 